right. Um, hello, Tammy. Um, thank you so much for being here today. Um, we are here because um, People First Tourism Lab, we have a project called Vacation Support Agriculture, and we work closely with TDAs across North Carolina. And, you know, you have been a very, very involved partner and have helped us, you know, bring this project with a lot of success to Fender County. So I really appreciate your willingness to join this uh, conversation today uh, to tell us about uh, Pender County and about your involvement in the project. So to get us started, would you like to tell us a little bit about yourself and about your wonderful destination? Well, thank you for the invitation. We're excited to be able to um, share the success of the VSA project. Um, my name is Tammy Proctor, and I'm the Tourism Director and Public Information Officer for Pender County. In Pender County, you know, nobody knows where a county is in the state. We have a hundred of them, but if you say Topsail Island, people know where, what we represent. And uh, so Topsail Island is our destination for a lot of vacationers. Our population goes from about uh, 7,000 people to almost 100,000 people in that greater Topsail area um, in the summer. So that's our destination, but we also have great um, history here and with Morris Creek National Battlefield, the first victory in the Patriots battle, um, that brings a lot of folks in to, um, once they've been to the beach, then they're looking for something else. And so it brings you all through Pender County. Great, great. Certainly we, I'm in Raleigh and we're two and a half hours from Surf City. And so that's um, a regular jaunt for myself and my family. I'm sure many people from the Triangle area, we come to your county to escape the city and enjoy the beautiful ocean and the beach. Um, well, and so uh, I think three years ago, you were kind enough to respond to our inquiries and uh, uh, help us pilot and then further develop uh, the Vacation Supported Agriculture Program could you uh, tell us a little bit about why you feel like this collaboration makes sense to a destination like Pender County? Well, when I was first approached, I had to Google VSA to find out what that was. And when I found out it was vacation support agriculture, I knew we had to, to be all in because the two leading industries in Pender County is number one, agriculture, and number two, tourism. So we knew this was a win-win for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, now, as a TDA, you know, and via, VSA or Vacation Support Agriculture tries to bridge those two industries in, in participating destinations, um, TDAs have a, a role of supporting the tourism industry and connecting people with opportunities. Could you elaborate a little bit on what you've done over these years to help us be um, successful, to help the local participants be successful? Well, the number one connection was our real estate companies that deal with vacation rentals. Mm -hmm. um, reaching out to them, getting that message out, um, they embraced um, the VSA program. And because people come here and they want to live like a local, if it's for a long weekend or a week, sometimes two weeks. So when they come here, not only living like a local, they want to taste everything like a local. And with us being such an agricultural based county, blueberries, sweet potatoes, you name it, they embrace those mm. USA boxes. That's great. So, so essentially you're saying you have a sense that your visitors really appreciate connecting with the local products and the, the farmers, the local farmers that produce those uh, food products. And you, you sense that the realties also uh, share that understanding that they, they feel like their guests are looking for these things? Yes, it's giving them an opportunity to offer one more experience because they want to live like a local, but, and they want to experience life like a local. Mm -hmm. And that um, VSA box gives them the opportunity to live like a local, and they give that 
experience of really being here and what what we enjoy every day. That's great. So in your role, connecting us to realties because they're part of your board and they are really your closest constituents, was it difficult to explain this project to them or did it seem to resonate with them relatively easily? Uh, it depends on what time of the year you reach out to them. Um, mm -hmm. We reached out to them when things were slower and they weren't being bombarded with bookings. They were more willing to listen. Uh, but some realities looked at it and they jumped in with both feet because they saw the potential. And some, you know, you had to do a little bit of selling. And yeah. then once they participated, they were in. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, they may understand the merit, but maybe they first need to focus on surviving, you know, keeping the business afloat. And I know we've heard from a lot of partners that these have been very busy times and difficult to staff their teams completely. And so we have, uh, you know, can relate very much to what you're saying, because often you can almost feel the angst on some of these partners that they would like to participate, but they just need to survive for a little bit first and then hopefully they get on board. Okay, great. Um, any last words of maybe advice or insight to peer TDAs around the state? I would say investigate, use this as an opportunity to market your area because you're marketing the flavor of your community by participating in a VSA. Wonderful. Tammy, thank you so much for joining me today and for all the support you've been providing. Thank you. All right.